Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on IT Door Tutorials. I am Josef Botnar. In this uh, video tutorial, uh, I invite you to uh, watch a tutorial about uh, C Sharp uh, graphics uh, programming uh, using uh, GDI Plus, which uh, stands for uh, Graphics uh, Device uh, Interface, using uh, Windows Form App. Uh, GDI Plus is a uh, library that provides an interface that allows programmers to write Windows and web graphics applications that interact with uh, graphical devices such as uh, printers, monitors or files. So uh, this uh, library, which uh, was done uh, using uh, C++, um, is uh, located uh, between the application and those devices what I, ha I have told you uh, such as printers, uh, monitors or uh, files. In this uh, video tutorial and uh, series the tutorials uh, what I'm going to do in the next uh, weeks um, I'm going to use the 2D uh, vector uh, programming in uh, C Sharp uh, which uh, mainly is uh, used to draw shapes uh, like uh, lines, rectangles, curves uh, such as uh, arc or circles. Okay, uh, GDI Plus uh, is part uh, of uh, .NET uh, framework and uh, is using uh, these uh, namespaces like uh, system.drawing which I'm going to use uh, in this uh, application in this uh, video tutorial or um, Another uh, namespaces uh, such as uh, system dot uh, uh, text, system dot uh, uh, printing, dot internal, dot imaging, uh, dot uh, drawing uh, 2D, and uh, system uh, dot uh, uh, design. So let's start the application and let's see how uh, this uh, works uh, in uh, practice. So uh, launch Visual Studio. Click on uh, create a new project. Select the Windows Form app, click uh, on Next button, and here let's uh, give a name for uh, our application, such as uh, uh, Draw Drawing. Uh, drawing Line, yeah, Demo, okay. Press create a button. Here you go. Let's resize this form. I'm going to change the back color to white because the default is uh, sort of gray. And uh, and the white uh, will give a better contrast uh, between graphic and the. Uh, background color of the form yeah okay and let's uh, choose the name uh, for this form like uh, frm okay draw line okay and here drawing line uh, line okay to be able uh, to draw a line we have to use uh, the paint event so go in and uh, select the event icon this lightning uh, icon and uh, go here uh, inside the event uh, window and look for paint event here you go is it is about this one and uh, select uh, the box uh, uh, next to the paint uh, event and give a double click uh, in this empty box. This uh, will create uh, this method and uh, with this uh, event paint. Yeah, all right. Now, now if uh, I'm going up here, you will uh, see this uh, directive or namespace uh, system dot drawing, which uh, is used uh, to uh, code in a 2D uh, vector 
and uh, I'm going to use uh, this directive in my application, in this uh, application to draw to draw a line. Actually, I I can uh, remove all uh, the unnecessary usings. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, actually, it removes the the drawing the namespace which I need. Yes, yeah, it's done. Dot uh, drawing. Yeah. Okay. Semicolon. All right. I go back here. Uh, where is this form? And uh, let's uh, do a bit of theory. So uh, at math, you learned uh, about this uh, coordinate axis. Yeah. Uh, x and uh, this is x. Yeah the horizontal uh, axe and uh, this one is uh, y yeah and here is the origin point which is uh, 0 yeah 0 for uh, x and 0 for y zero for y yeah and if you want to uh, represent here a line, for example, here is for on this uh, x axis, this is uh, 3. On uh, y axis, this is 3. Yeah. So now this is uh, x and this is y. And this is the, the intersection of uh, x and y yeah? for the uh, 3. For example, here we represent the, the, this number 3, yeah? Okay, so here we have uh, uh, the coordinate pair uh, 0, 0, and uh, here is 3, 3, yeah? And if uh, you want to, to connect uh, these two points, so this is the starting point and this is the end point, you draw a line, yeah? And you will connect uh, this... Uh, to uh, coordinate uh, pairs, yeah. But regard to the form, uh, the uh, situation is is a bit uh, upside down, yeah. So uh, actually, here is the starting point zero zero, yeah, for uh, x and y. Yeah, here is zero zero, actually. This one comes here, yeah. Zero and zero. Yeah. So that means uh, this one is X and this one is Y. Yeah. And here is the starting point zero zero. Yeah. And uh, you will uh, and the uh, the computer will uh, start to draw graphics objects, yeah, starting with this uh, origin point zero zero. Yeah, for example, here is three. For example, on uh, x axis, and here uh, on y is uh, three. On uh, y uh, axis is uh, three. Yeah, so. Um, that means this is uh, x three and this is y three. Yeah, and here is zero 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 for x and zero for y. And uh, if uh, we're gonna to use a line to connect uh, these two points. It uh, will looks it will look like uh, this one, yeah. So this is a starting point zero zero. And this is the end point three three. So in this way uh, works uh, drawing uh, lines or tr drawing uh, graphic objects uh, on uh, in a C sharp in a Windows form up in a C sharp under C sharp, yeah. So let's go here inside uh, this uh, paint uh, event. In order to be able to 
uh, draw uh, graphics to draw objects uh, on the form, we have to use this uh, graphics class to create a object. Yeah, and this object will give uh, us the ability to access uh, various methods which uh, are gonna to draw. In my example, is gonna to draw a line. Yeah, so equal. I'm gonna use this uh, parameter, a parameter to uh, get this property graphics used to paint. Yeah, and semicolon. Now I need a device. I need a device uh, which is gonna to draw our line. In a practice, in a reality, when you draw, you will use a pen or pencil or uh, something else, yeah, or a brush or something else, yeah. So in in the same way, I need uh, when uh, I program to use a uh, device. And uh, to use a device, I'm going to use this uh, pen uh, classes to create an object. I am going to name it uh, P, and I'm going to create a new instance using this uh, new keyword. Yeah. And here, where is this constructor? As you can see, I've got uh, these uh, four options. Yeah, I'm going to use this option yeah, where I've got the structure color to set the color for the line, which I want to be red because uh, it's more highlighted. And uh, the next parameter is this uh, float width, which will set the width and uh, let it be for yeah? the width of the line. All right, and now I'm going to use this uh, object G. Yeah, to access the method which will draw the line. It is about this uh, method, the draw line. Yeah, and as you can see, its parameters is this uh, object of this class pen. Yeah, I'm gonna, but uh, I have created uh, this uh, code line. Yeah, p, comma. And here is the first um, coordinate pair, yeah, uh, x1 and y1. So I'm going to use a 0 for uh, x and y, yeah, for the starting point, yeah, and for the end point, for the ending point, for this uh, x2 and uh, y2. As you see, uh, the type is integer for the coordinate uh, pairs. So let it be like uh, 250 and 250, yeah. And here you go, semicolon. And now let's release this application. Yeah, here is our line, as you can uh, see. It was uh, drew. It's been drawn, yeah. And uh, it was drawn. Yeah, using uh, the next, uh, the following uh, coordinate uh, pairs. So here is the uh, starting point, yeah. Uh, 0 for x and 0 for y. Yeah. And here we've got uh, 250 for uh, x. Yeah and 250 for y. Yeah, so here actually we've got uh, 300, uh, 250, sorry, I used 250, yeah. So 250 for uh, x and 250 for uh, y, yeah, this uh, end point. Yeah, okay, and I can uh, change this, for example, I can uh, change for the starting point, the X point, like I can put here, like, uh, let's put, like 100, and let's see what is going to happen. Actually, the line is going to move to 
right yeah because he's gonna do move on x axis yeah so let's see yeah so this is right yeah because uh, okay now so uh, this is the starting point so this is x which is 100 now yeah as you can see here yeah it's 100 and the uh, and y is 0 yeah so it's 0 is 0 yeah so that's why now the line the starting point is here and not uh, the origin point yeah and here we uh, the x is 250 and y is 250 yeah the y yeah and this is uh, x Also, we can uh, change for the starting uh, point of the coordinate pairs, for example, the y. We can uh, put here like another 100, yeah? And let's see now what is going to happen. As you can see, the starting point uh, of drawing a line was uh, changed, yeah? So here is... Uh, x 100 and uh, here is uh, y 100 for the starting point so this is the starting point yeah and the ending point in this one x is uh, 250 and y 250 yeah and uh, let's move a bit uh, here the ending point we can uh, write here for example 450 yeah let's see now how the line uh, is going to be moved it's going to be moved to the right i mean the ending point of this uh, coordinate pairs x and y because i modified the x value yeah so let's see how this yeah you, yeah yeah because uh, now we've got this is the starting point 100 x when 100 y and uh, here is uh, 450 for x and uh, 250 for uh, y yeah okay also as i told you this is uh, this number which uh, the unit measure is uh, pixels by default yeah uh, you can change this i put four i can put like uh, 15 and this uh, parameter actually is setting up the width of the line so let's see let's start as you can see now the width was changed yeah it's uh, is thicker than before because here I was changed the parameter from 4 to 15 so that's all uh, for today thank you for watching this video tutorial see you next time bye bye